we would like to now introduce another speaker. Maria Clave began her tenure as Harvey Mudd College's fifth president in 2006. Prior to joining HMC, she served as Dean of Engineering and Professor of Computer Science at Princeton University. Dr. Clave joined Princeton from the University of British Columbia, where she served in various roles from 1988 to 2002. Prior to UBC, Dr. Clave spent eight years with IBM Research in California and two years at the University of Toronto. She received her PhD, 1977, and Bachelor of Science, 1973, in mathematics from the University of Alberta. Dr. Clave has made significant research contributions in several areas of mathematics and computer science, including functional analysis, discrete mathematics, theoretical computer science, human computer interaction, gender issues and in information technology, and interactive multimedia for mathematics education. Her current research focuses on discrete mathematics. Dr. Clave is a board member of the American Association for the Advancement of Science, the Alliance for Southern California Innovation, the nonprofit Math for America, the chair of the board of the nonprofit edreports.org, a fellow of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences, and a trustee for the Mathematical Science Sciences Research Institute in Berkeley. She is the recipient of the 2014 Women of Vision Abbey Award for Leadership and the 2017 Academic Leadership Award from the Carnegie Corporation of New York. In addition, Dr. Clave is on our own Math Prize for Girls Board of Advisors. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Maria Clave. Hi, thank you, Maria. I have to say um, it's really an honor to be here to celebrate your accomplishments. I want to say that I got to know Maria Mirzakani a bit through my role on the Board of Trustees for the Mathematical Sciences Research Institute. She was truly inspiring, and I know that she would be just delighted that this ceremony is named for her. So I want to take, I'm probably the oldest person on this Zoom call. Uh, I'm turned 69 this summer, and I want to take a moment to tell you about how things changed. I grew up as a girl who, probably like you, I loved math. Actually, I loved physics too, and art, and literature, and music, and lots of other things. But I think my, math was always sort of my special magic, something that I used to talk about it being like drinking milkshakes because it's just so delicious. Now, uh, when I was in high school, I was known by the teachers to be the strongest math student they had had in a long time, but I was a girl and girls weren't supposed to be good at math in those days. And so when I was in the advanced math class in 12th grade, I was the only girl in the class out of about 40 students and I got 100% on every exam and the class average was typically under 50. And the teacher who was female would tease the boys by saying, don't you feel so embarrassed that a girl is getting 100% and you guys aren't even passing? Then when I went to university, I had lots of people say to me, Maria, you're so good at so many different things. Why do you want to be a mathematician? There aren't any good female mathematicians. Well, I'm very happy to say that, you know, more than 50 years later, we now now, now, now know that girls can be fantastic at mathematics. But we also know how important it is to encourage people because discovering wonderful things in mathematics and using that mathematics to do wonderful things in engineering or science, technology, it's not because you were born super smart. The people who succeed in doing that do so, one, because they work hard, two, because they're able to ask for help, three, because when they run into obstacles and 
I will tell you if there is any mistake that a female mathematician or computer scientist could make in their career, I have made it multiple times. So I have run on headlong at full speed into brick walls and stone walls. And, and sometimes I did that when there was actually a door in the wall about two feet to where I hit the wall, but I didn't see it. So the most important part about making a difference in your life and actually using your knowledge of mathematics to solve important problems in society is, as I said, hard work, not giving up, being willing to ask for help, and being willing to also take help. Now, I wanna say I'm the first woman in my job for the last 32 years, that's a long time. And I was really bad at asking for help because I always felt as the first woman in my position, people would think that if I needed help, I was sort of a failure. And I already felt very vulnerable because of being the first woman. But over time, I began to realize that if I didn't ask for help, I wasn't gonna be nearly as successful as I needed to be. So I wanna close by just saying a couple of other things that we used to think about mathematics. One was that if you didn't learn mathematics quickly, you couldn't possibly good at, be good at it. That's rubbish. Whether you learn math easily or whether you have to work really hard to understand something makes absolutely no difference at whether you will be able to make creative and valuable contributions to the field of mathematics. So I am proud of all of you for participating in the Math Prize for Girls. I wish there had been something like that when I were your age. I hope many of you will think about uh, applying to Harvey Mudd College when you're thinking about going to college, because I will just say, even though MIT is a good place and so is Caltech and Stanford is okay and Princeton is not so bad either, we have by far the best math teachers in the universe and about half of our majors in math, and about half of our majors in computer science, and about half of our majors in engineering are female. We are a place, oh, and about 40% of our faculty are female too. So we are a place that really celebrates being whoever you are and whatever you bring to a STEM field. You could be male or female or non-binary. You could be transgender. You could be black or white or Asian or Muslim, or Christian, or atheist. It just doesn't matter to us. So I am very proud to be part of the organization that puts on the Math Prize for Girls. I'm very proud that you are here. And I want to say to every one of you, I read my own email. It's my last name, clave at hmc.edu. So if you want to write to me and tell me about yourself, do so, because I will really enjoy hearing from you. I'm going to turn you back over to Maria. You're going to have so much fun listening to Dana and Iona. They are fantastic mathematicians, of course. And congratulations for being who you are. Congratulations for who you're going to become. And as Arun said, the world needs you now like it never has before. Bye. Dr. Clave, you are 100% fantastic, and I'm sure you always have been. Thank you for being a trailblazer for women. Thank you.